First things first. Welcome to the channel. We're going to be taking a look at the Gamdius Hermes RGB keyboard, brand new as of this year, 2016. It is a masterfully created keyboard. I really like this keyboard, and I think that Gamdius put their put all their pennies in the pot with this one. So this will be hopefully something that's really good. Let's take a look at it in this video, and uh, I just want to say I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Hey guys, what's up? This is the first part, and what I'm going to do is basically an overview look of the GameDS Hermes RGB Edition. This is by far the best keyboard they've put out, and that's of course my opinion. And it definitely is the uh, price range in which it competes. Now the last time I mentioned the price range with the 7 color keyboard, if you remember, that was, uh, I, I said it was $110, which it was the day before I did the video, and they brought it down to $80, which is absolutely a perfect range for the other keyboard. Go check out that video if I don't put a link in this somewhere then just go back and check it out but this is their new top dog this is the RGB keyboard it is a phenomenal keyboard having some hands-on time with it, it's it been really great and uh, I'm enjoying the crap out of it and I've pretty much only played with some of the features so I will go over the more uh, into it stuff in a minute I think uh, pool light gaming uh, somebody that's been very supportive and commenting check out that channel art he just kind of threw it together and I'm actually kind of liked it so it's what my channel art is now I'd mentioned that it's only QWERTY, it's not hazardy or QWERT or, or other form factors that you could hopefully do with. Well, he was mainly referring to the 7 color one I reviewed, which doesn't have UI support. However, this one does. This one can talk to Hera MV Macro, and that'll be part of what I try out and see what I can do. If we wanted to make it an hazardy keyboard, we'll see about removing the keycaps because they're Kale Switch Blue keycaps, which is excellent. If you like Cherry Blues, this is about as close as you get without going over or going under. So. These are the closest to get to Cherry MX switches, and which means we can just kind of take the keycaps off and move them around as we see. So well, I'll actually play around and see if that's possible to macro it to be somewhat similar to an Azure keyboard. However, not 100% obviously with some of the European features. But we'll look into that, and I just wanted to say, going over some things real quick, it's got a really nice braided cable, no pass-through. If you liked this Hermes keyboard that had a pass-through at the top, which I'm actually using right now, this keyboard doesn't have it. You also lose the macro keys. Over here you got the G1 keys and the M keys down here. This one has no extra macro keys. That's uh, that's sad for me, but that's okay. Not a big deal. And uh, it's the same good durable structure. It's actually a little more compact and it looks really nice. And uh, I'm, I'm stoked about this. And uh, let's get into looking at it a little closer. And we'll, we'll take a look at some features in Hera, and I'll go over Hera, what you can do with it, uh, how easy it is to use the lighting controls and functions. While some of them are on the keyboard, it looks like some of them are only accessible through Hera. So we'll look at that. Let's go ahead and move into it, and I just great keyboard, great keyboard. Priced at, I think, around 130 I could be wrong. I'll look it up. I'll post it below. And whatever price I say, as soon as I say it and make this video, it'll change because that's, you know, Murphy's Law. So anyways, let's take a look. There is nothing worse than recording an awesome segment video that goes over everything perfectly where you're like, oh my god, I did it all perfect. That's great. And you stand up and you realize the camera had an error recording and I just talked to myself staring at the corner where the camera is for quite a while doing that. So, without further ado, let's start differently this time and hope I don't miss anything or cover more than I intended to. So, this is the uh, Hermes Ultimate uh, keyboard. This is their original Big Top Dog. And this is their new RGB keyboard. It's beautiful, it's glamorous. Plenty of colors, it looks great. You can macro, and real quick before I forget, because I will if I don't, Pool Light Gaming had said it was a shame that it doesn't come, or more so referring to the other keyboard I reviewed, the seven color one, which if I don't put the link up to it, then go check it out. That it doesn't come in other formats, such as the Azure D or QWERT uh, setup. This just comes in like your standard US QWERTY setup, and I was thinking it would be really cool if Gamedius and some of these profiles just went ahead and preloaded with a picture maybe of like the Azure D setup so that somebody could look and set it to Azure D and then just move the keys around. Still sell it like this, that'd be easy as pie and just have somebody program a picture of the Azure D setup in there where they can just move the keys around like I said. But if you, since I don't do that, 
And if you want to change it, you can actually go into Hero, which I experimented with this a little bit, and of course it won't be a true Razer D keyboard setup with your Euro symbols and fancy stuff. I'm sure there's there would be neat things they could include in Hero to make that possible. But um, you can go in, like what I did basically is I just took a couple letters and tried it out. I took Q and I assigned A to it, so you know on an Azure keyboard A would be where Q is, and that way when you type Q, A appeared. And then all you would have to do is take your A cap off and your Q cap off and put the A where the Q is, and voila, you're on your way to building an Azure keyboard. I will disclaimer that it's easier to do it with two keyboards plugged in because if you assign that to Q and then they're both assigned to Q then there's no getting A back without the second keyboard to reassign A or resetting your defaults and doing it all over again. So I will say you probably want to use two keyboards when you do that just so the other one can talk with the accurate key to this one. Um, beautiful keyboard. It really is. Nice compact design. We, we drop a few things from the original features here. We have the uh, magnetic plates in the front where you can put the giant wrist rest that I put somewhere to get it out of the way. But, you know, you can go look that up if you want to see it. It's just a big wrist rest. I actually like it. A lot of people didn't and that's kind of why they dropped it on this design. We no longer have the LED logo, uh, the Gambia Zeus logo here in the front. It is now just sort of a, uh, a uh, decount sticker version of it which is fine. They dropped the pass-throughs on the back. I actually use that pass-through a lot. And in fact, I'm using it right now to, to do part of this. So, I do miss the pass-throughs on the back, but I can live without them. They dropped my macro keys too, and, and uh, you know, from talking to them, I told them how much I love my macro keys, but they said, hey, more people don't like the macro keys. So, got rid of it. You got your G keys on the side, your M keys on the bottom on the original Ultimate, and on the new RGB version, you don't have that anymore. You just have your standard 100% keyboard. And this is probably more of a 110% or whatever fancy title you want to give it. But it's a really nice, really nice uh, keyboard. And I've been nothing but ecstatic and stoked about it. Let me read you a bedtime story, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I don't remember where my part was. I was going to read you some cool stuff about it. It does feature a uh, nice uh, microprocessor, a 32-bit ARM micro cortex processor, I believe, on the inside, which is great for storing your profiles and for it to remember your lighting effects, things of this nature, so that makes it really easy to uh, just kind of plug in and go as you go. So if you take this over to your friend's house and you're doing a LAN party and you've got something there or a different computer, you know, plug in and go and that'll be really helpful and really useful. Uh, the lighting effects, it has four on the keyboard itself, but for most of the lighting effects and lighting control, when you want to go in there and change something, you got to go into Hera and uh, select the lighting or luminescence uh, tab where you can go over and you can uh, pick different things, whatever color you want it to be, functions, the speed of the lights, uh, and I've got a couple of those I'll throw into B-roll so that you can see it. If I remember, I will also take a picture of the bottom where they sort of re-included the cable management idea, but it's just a U. So instead of you looking at my fingers and me doing that, hopefully I took a picture of it. If not, look at my fingers. That's what I'm doing. That's what the cable management option looks like. And oh well for that. Not a big deal. It's a neat feature to add in, but wasn't necessary. One of the most structurally durable designs. And if I said that funny, I'm sorry. I'm from Georgia and I, I butcher some words and they just sound so southern and painful to say. So I'll work on saying structure and durable. But it's a, uh, it is, it's a really, it's a really durable uh, build, and I expect nothing less from Gambia. So I don't think I've ever had anything from them where I'm like, this feels cheap. It always feels expensive and nice, and uh, kudos to them for doing that. The kale blue switches are a great choice. Uh, I don't think that, and this is my opinion, a keyboard doesn't have to have a cherry switch to be a good keyboard. That's just something they sell. It's like Valentine's Day. They want to sell chocolates. You want to buy Dove chocolates, but there's nothing wrong with Hershey's chocolates. They taste good to me, or Reese's Hearts. Man, those things taste delicious. Kale Blue Switches taste just as delicious on my fingers as the Cherry Switches. And for a sound comparison, probably not the best one to offer you, because in my Ultimate I've got the Cherry Brown Switches. And if you don't know much about keys, then with cherries, reds are going to be your more quiet ones. The browns are sort of in the middle as far as how loud they are. And your blues are definitely going to be your loudest. I think I compared them once to a ninja sneaking around as red, a ninja that trips over something as brown, and then a bunch of ninjas falling down the chair or the stairs dropping plates is your blue switches. So kale blue switches are going to be on the louder end, and they're going to be the most like your cherry blue switches. But just as a real quick comparison, these are what browns sound like. It's closer to the microphone, it might be louder, but these are what blues sound like. And while they don't sound identical to cherry blue switches, they are the closest thing without going over. And some of the most comforting uh, 
comforting. Like they're gonna snuggle with me at night and make me feel better. They are some of the most comfortable switches. Comfortable. Try not to be so Georgia for you guys, because I know that sucks for you Californians to have to listen to our butchered Southern East things. But they are, they are, it's a really, it's a really good feel. Uh, if I didn't mention the pass-through, them dropping the pass-through really did make me sad. That's the only thing that really makes me uh, really sad about this uh, keyboard because I'll probably swap and make this my, my main go-to keyboard. This will probably become the keyboard. It's, it's a better size, better form, and I will miss my pass-throughs deeply. And if you guys really love me, you'll put the pass-throughs on the back. And that was just such a good feature. Because uh, on the Ultimate, you've got the headphone jack and the USB pass-through, which I don't really care about the headphone jacks, but the USB pass-through really uh, was a great selling point for the uh, Hermes Ultimate. So it would have been nice to have seen that included on this, but it's not. Now, uh, as far as competing uh, with big dogs like Razer or Logitech or Corsair, which are my often comparable big dogs, I think that this keyboard is on par to do so. I think this is a great keyboard and worth every pickup. And if, but everybody's like, you know, well, it doesn't have cherry switches, it uses kale blue switches. Well, you know what? Razer's new green switch is a kale switch. Do some research and look at that. You guys know how much Razer loves their stuff. And they, they think that, you know, their S word don't stink. But sometimes it does. Anyways, uh, got off on a tangent in my own head about how irritating they can be sometimes with their products but when it comes to competing with the big dogs this keyboard absolutely does and it's worth every cent at 130 dollars right now now i say that price knowing that as soon as i say a price and post a video it either goes up or down and i've told you the wrong price so go look at the prices yourself i'll put links to it down below if there's anything in particular that i've missed that you want to know about this keyboard let me know because honestly after recording two of these videos where i know i covered what i pretty much wanted to in the first one I'm sure I missed in this one where I might have said different stuff altogether, but you know, there's nothing like being uh, an unscripted freelancing kind of uh, video person. So I'm probably all over the place and potentially repeated myself. So you deal with it. You just, just deal with it. You'll be okay. But it's a great keyboard. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. I will try to answer it. If you want to see anything or have any specific uh, requests to know about what this can do, I will definitely look into it for you as I'm going to switch to this and make it my keyboard and just trade the love of my life here away without my pass through. But, you know, that's that's what it is. See if I can very easily get to my stop button because we're going to roll the outro. All right, bye.